Okay, I'm going to be making a game. Okay, open your picture. I already have one. Go to selections, select all, go to edit, define with pattern. Then, take your circular tool right here. Make it like that. They can be any size, really. I'm just going to make it big so that I can do it fast. And go to right click and go to stroke and fill. You might want to pick a color that's not in here just so it doesn't get mixed up. I'm going to choose light gray. Actually, I'll choose that. Now, blue. You can make it whatever size you want. Click OK. Then move this down so that it's touching fill. Go to stroke and fill again. Over. Do this all the way until you get down to the bottom. It doesn't matter if it hangs off a little or not. Then you can look something like that. So what you're going to do now, you're going to go to this band right here. You're going to click, you're going to click pattern and make the radius whatever size you want. It's easier when it's smaller. So zoom in. Make sure you hit hide selection and then you can start erasing. make it look something like that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your magic wand tool, actually. Take the color, so that it's all together. Now go to filter, go to stylize. Depending on what color background you have, whether it's white, if it's white, you're going to do black. If it's a different color, most likely you're going to do white. Make sure it's clicked outside too. Okay, and it should look like that. Now, there's another thing you can do. I like doing this because it looks better. Go to File, Open.
pattern there. Go to your thing. Copy it. Then right click here. Go to paste in. And then make sure it fills up the whole page. So now you're good with that. Since you have something that looks like this. So now what you're going to do to make it actually look like these. You're going to go to hide collection again. Then you're going to go to your paint, or your stamp tool. And you're going to erase it on here. Thanks for watching.